What's going on everybody? This is Dreeds here at Whether or Not and today I'm going to be giving you some beginner tips and uh, strategies on how to play Blitzball. Blitzball is the popular minigame in Final Fantasy X and X-2 and uh, yeah I've been going through a lot of communities and I've seen a lot of people asking for tips on Blitzball and that's understandable since it can be a bitch especially, especially in the early goings. Uh, your team is the worst team in Blitzball starting out, as you'll see here, uh, more than likely. And, uh, yeah, so you are actually introduced to Blitzball at the beginning of the game, but you don't actually play it until you arrive at Luka and play in the tournament, uh, as a promise and favor to Waka. Uh... But there is a key item before that on the tr trip to Luca, in between Kilika and Luca on the boat where you have the flashback scene. You actually can, uh, by performing enough of the commands on the screen, you can earn the jack shot. And that is a very important part to winning that first game. But anyway, uh, what I've done is I've resetted the uh, team data I'm starting at from scratch I can't even use the jack shot here in the first half uh, all my players abilities have been erased so I have to learn all my key techniques I'm doing this for this guide and I'm this is gonna be more than one video this guide is but this first video is just beginners tips now uh, as I said, Luka Goers are probably the second hardest team. Now, you might be asking why you would want to play Blitzball. Well, that is because if you're planning on 100% in the game, you're going to have to play Blitzball. And you're going to probably have to play a pretty good amount of Blitzball. Uh, the reason that is, is because Waka's overdrives, the attack reels, the status reels, and the auric reels are all... Uh, prizes you can win in Blitzball. The attack reels come in the tournament. The uh, the status reels come after 400 or 250 battles, and it comes in the uh, the league. And uh, after 450 battles in the world, in the real world, you can uh, receive the orc reels in the tournament. And those are important because later in the game when you go for everybody's celestial weapons or ultimate weapons, whatever you want to call them, it is crucial to obtain in Waka's Sigil. Also, if you're 100% in the game and uh, completing the Sphere Grid for all characters, uh, 100%, then you're going to have to have some items that you're going to get out of here, such as Key Spheres, uh, Return Spheres, and Teleport Spheres. So... With that being said, let's jump right on into this. Now, you have pretty much four main positions. Your forwards, your midfielder, I don't call him a forward, I call him midfielder. Uh, your defenders and your goalie. Your forwards are going to be your shooters. They should have high endurance, high shot, high speed. Uh, your, pa the, your midfielder should have high passing, high attack, and high block. And uh, your defenders should have high attack, high block, and high speed. Your goalie should have high attack, or not high attack, but high block and high catch. And as you can see, Keepa sucks. He is a shit goalie, and as I said, you have the shittiest team starting out. And later on, I mean, there's six teams, and there are uh, 60 recruitable players. So, I mean, players' contracts end on other teams. You can go recruit them if you find them out on the world. And uh, they also recruit other players, these teams do. So it, it can get really interesting. Uh, so this game, this mini game, is more of a, a, a side game as a mini game. And as I said, we can't set any text because nobody has that ability. Nobody's level 3 yet. And there it looks to be only like probably only one guy with a uh, yeah 
I'm actually going to set no mark for Titus. I don't want to give him the attack yet. I'm actually going to give it to Letty and set him as the mark. Okay, now set marks we'll get a little bit more into in the second half since nobody can use them. Uh, but what you do is you set a mark and if the player uses that ability in the game then a, a term flashes up in the top left it says technicopy you wait until the second time it flashes white and hit X or whatever the Xbox controller equivalency is to learn that ability okay now you have to be certain levels to learn certain abilities and only certain players can learn certain abilities now okay so for now that's good on the mark shit uh so we're going to start the game and i'm going to show you the pretty much the basics now i believe the teams are probably ranked in this order and i'm going to pause it for this the all bad sacks are probably the hardest team and that's because nimrook is the best goalkeeper he is the goalie goat say that 12 times fast uh like he starts out even at level two or level three whatever he starts out with at 18 catch and our best shooter is titus and he only has 10 at level two so like i said it's really hard to beat all bets especially early going luka goers are probably the second hardest and that's who we're facing here and so yeah like i said uh, there's a there's a good chance I lose this game guys, but you're going to lose games Especially early on until you get people some abilities So that's the key first thing before you worry too much about anything is uh, Trying to learn abilities trying to get XP so you can learn abilities and the way you do that is by passing hitting shots blocking shots Taking the ball from the opponent by attacking them or blocking their passes or whatever. And uh, and you keep in control of the ball when they attack you. So, with that being said, let's go. Now, first we got the ball and what you're going to want to do is spam triangle so you get this screen. And uh, if you're following me, we're going to go manual A. Manual A sets the control stick as left goes towards the opponent's goal, up is up, down is down, and right goes to your goal. Uh, I don't know what manual B is. If you guys know and want to use manual B, go right ahead. But definitely don't use auto. And then we have different formations. Now, mark mode, if you set marks, people to mark, or set people mark, at, if you set your players with uh, other people, like you, on the mark mode, you set somebody to guard somebody. They will guard that person, but you actually don't have to be in mark mode to learn the abilities if they use them. So I suggest never to use mark mode, because you could have two people marked to the same person but only th uh, uh, and they'll defend if you go to mark mode they will both defend that one player so somebody will be open anyway and that can get dangerous uh, also what I forgot to mention if you have two people set on the same person to learn the same ability only the first person set with that ability to learn will learn that ability so that second person with the same mark set as the first person cannot learn that ability unless the opposing player uses that ability again so anyway never use mark mode right side and left side is more defensive formations uh, they drop your defenders back so since we have the ball I'm gonna set to normal but we're going to be switching that kind of stuff a lot here. And I'm going to swim and try to draw defenders without them being able to get to me. Okay, now he did. And now we're going to bring up these player stats. Okay, HP is health. 
uh, if it hits zero, the person passes out and they cannot be used anymore in that half. Uh, EN is endurance, PA is pass, uh, AT is attack, BL is block, and CA is catch. Or is it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's CA. E anyway, endurance is how well you can take a player's attack. Pass is pretty explanatory. Anyway, uh, okay, so pretty much this game is luck based, but you do want to play the numbers to the best of their ability. So as you can see, I have seven endurance and he has three attack. Now in theory, that means he attacks me and I have four attack left or four endurance left. But there's chances that he can actually take me all the way down to zero and take the ball. Now that's the luck based part of this game. And it can do some crazy, ridiculous stuff. Anyway, if I chose no break, I would have the chance to pass or shoot, but he would have the chance to use his one block against it. Now, there's a chance that he, even if he had a lot of block, he would miss it and no block would be took off the pass at all. Now, there's also a chance that he could uh, hit it and more than one block be took off. Okay, so, uh, but what you want to do is play the numbers, because, I mean, even though I could pass it, oh, I mean, actually, it don't matter, uh, because, actually, both ways, my, my stat is higher than his, but I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to pass. So, see, as you can see, it only actually took one endurance off of me. But I'm going to pass to Titus, because I'm going to try to hurry up and get a goal right here. And what you're really wanting to do, guys, this is pretty much the best tip I can give you, is you want to try to draw defenders to you without actually coming in contact and be able to have the chance to attack or block you. And you're wanting to try to get your teammates open but sometimes you're going to have to take at least one attack or try to pass through at least one blocker but as you can see I have 10 shot he has 8 catch so in theory I should be able to hit this shot but there is actually a chance he blocks it or gets a hand on it but we're gonna see see he caught it so the the writing you know it just was unlucky that was unlucky as hell now I'm going to drop my defenders back cuz yeah we definitely want to drop these guys back and he has nine endurance and I sh he shot he's got good shoot but we've got a lot of chances to block it and hopefully that's that's far enough to distance yeah okay so even though keep is a shitty goalie that was at least good enough not to screw us too bad and we're gonna break and I'm gonna keep dribbling so see there's hardly any defenders on this side now what I'm gonna do is switch the formation back to normal you're gonna have to keep remembering to hit triangle and doing this stuff because if not you're not gonna get anywhere because like I said guys you're trying to keep defenders away from you but still get people open while drawing defenders in but keeping them far enough to do these uh, these uh, abilities or uh, stuff without having any interference and as you can see it is just totally ripping me a new one and their guys stayed way back there so they're probably going to beat me right here and I don't see how, normally my guy would have actually defended that and I, I cannot for the life of me understand why it didn't suck him in but sometimes that's another RNG thing it will not suck your defender into defense even though it will for them all the time just about they can have guys not even close to you that end up getting uh, in the uh, in the break so that's really annoying but pretty much I'm just I'm not actually doing a good job either at uh, 
get my teammates involved. Like I said, guys, you're going to want to level up your team as well. And how you do that is by by performing actions. So I need to get some other people involved. Maybe back this defense up a little bit like this. And hopefully just end up getting open. Because I've not had very much luck at getting open so far for some reason. Please, please be enough to get there. Oh, just enough. Okay, guys, so my best chance here is to throw a pass, but that still may not even be enough. So, it got there just in time. Okay, I'm going to have to hope for a little luck here, guys. Nope. See, even though her attack was under my endurance, she still got the advantage somehow. So I'm having a, I'm not having the best of luck. So that is a bad thing in itself. And of course, oh my lord. Uh, so I'm probably not going to have enough. Oh, I missed the Technocopy, guys. I had a chance to learn the, uh, the skill and didn't do it. Okay, so there's not really much else I can do, guys. I'm going to have to get into this second half. And I should hopefully, I don't actually think I will be able to. If I'm not, if Titus didn't hit level 3, then I'm beat this game. Okay, so there's a chance that I'm not beat this game. And I will show you what I mean. And here's where the jack shot's going to come in handy. So it's... Actually, I don't know if I should use the jack shot. Ooh, this is going to be tricky, guys, because the jack shot takes a lot of HP to use. So I probably will only get one chance to use it in this half. But the other thing to that is... Actually, I'm going sphere. I'm going sphere, and I'm going to hope for the best. And there's no marks that I can pretty much, I can't learn nothing. Because I'm pretty sure nobody on our team can learn elite defense. So, uh, anyway, getting back into this. Hopefully, now I can score and we can show you guys exactly how to do the good stuff. And I'm going to pass to Jasu. Now, in the first couple of games, I will probably use this uh, left side a little bit more than uh, the rest of them. And see, uh, just certain movements, like I said, you're trying to draw in players the opposing players so watch this now what I'm gonna do is hopefully not all three of them oh oh my lord guys now that's just ridiculous I, I already knew I already knew I wasn't gonna get that so uh, yeah anyway Oh, man. Like I said, you're trying to draw defenders, but not let them get to you. 
and for some reason it is not letting me do that at all it didn't let me block that pass which is freaking ridiculous since uh, the fact is like since the fact is that yeah <laughs> it will not let me get to nobody and it won't even let me block okay it let me block their pass that time okay get it on up here Titus and we are going to switch to normal And we're going to break and then pass to Jasu again. And then I'm going to bring Jasu down, try to draw in two of these guys, and get it back to Titus. But that's not going to work. So I'm going to get it to Letty, come back a little bit, and then try to get it to Titus. Uh, dribble just a second longer. Now. See? Okay. Titus is wide open. Those guys wasn't close enough to draw into me. Now I may be able to score. Hopefully I am because I would at least like to get a tie here. And that's good enough for a spear shot. See, as you can see... Oh! 23 shoot! Yeah, it gives you a random rating. So that's the way to beat the all bed socks early on is to use the spear shot. But you gotta get wide open. Because if they draw in, then the jack shot is more than likely your best bet. Cause Titus's endurance ain't the greatest against some of the better defenders. So that's where shit can go wrong. But as you guys can see, once we hit where we can use the sphere shot, all you gotta do is draw defenders and get Titus open, especially early. Now, once you get comfortable and know Titus can hit shots against guys, now you're not gonna wanna do it against all bed socks pretty much ever. You'll never shoot with anybody but Titus unless you recruit good shooters. But if you're using the original Oryx, just know that more than likely, you're not going to be shooting with anybody against the all bed socks but Titus. Now any other team you can use Datto and there's some teams where you can even use Letty to shoot against teams. Especially if you learn like a shot that boosts his uh, shot rating. So uh, yeah, that's the cools. That's the cools for the fools. But yeah, guys, like I said, that's pretty much the tips that I can give you. So, uh, for the rest of this match, I'm not really going to be talking about pretty much any other tips. I'm just going to be showing you guys the, you know, how I do it uh, without really talking about it too much more until we get into some more advanced stuff in uh, another video. And we're just going to sit back and see if I win this one. Let's see if I can get the ball back. Okay, got the ball back. Oh, shit. Okay, so now we're switching the formation. Like I said, you got triangle for formation switch, square for the uh, action command, menu. menu. The menu, not cut menu. Anyway, back to normal. Okay, break to him. Pass to... Oh, uh, I'm going to say Letty, and then I'm going to try to go straight forward, draw those last two defenders, and get it back to Titus. Oh, uh, okay, now I'm going to pass, and I'm going to pass, who would be the smart pass, Datto? They're both about the same distance, I'm going to try Datto though. Yeah, see, it didn't matter. Uh, the good thing is I can go to overtime. So we may be going to overtime, which is first goal wins. So you'll even get to see an overtime match right off the bat. 
Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay. So it's going to overtime. Hopefully, I get the ball. If I get the ball, we're winning it right off the bat. Okay, now Letty and Jesu could set some uh, commands if they had any. Oh no, this is a league game. Sorry guys, only tournament games go to overtime. League games you can tie. So as you can see, we're tied. Ronzo Fangs and All Bed Sox both won their games. But like I said guys, this is just a beginner's guide that was the first game. Uh, so pretty much at least you got a tie you know at least I got a tie in the uh, the first game and and that's at least what you want to do in league games if you're playing a tournament you definitely have to win uh, it would have went to overtime first uh, first team that scores wins so yeah simple as that if you follow that strategy guys it's best to bring your midfielder either go straight up or straight down or loop around but bring him down to one of the sides uh, you can either pass back or to the side of you to your defender because that's where he'll move to and then pretty much all you really want to do is remember which players are good attackers uh, and like right there against the Luka Goers, that guy down here on the the right or well our left side. If we're going to their goal, it would be the left side. But down at the bottom of the map is the uh, the weakest attacker. So you can usually break through him and dribble, and then draw the person on Titus off of him and pass it to Titus to score. And that's pretty much your basic. Uh, starting out guide but just remember to try to pass between the players a little bit uh, and other than that just hope that your luck goes good so for this first video that's all I've got for you guys uh, I will be doing another video it'll probably be a little bit more of the same of beginner but a little bit more in depth and then I will uh, I'll probably I'll actually probably be using my current team in the next video and we'll, we will get more in depth so thank you guys for watching until next time dreams out